Hallo, welkom. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Hi Kenny, hi Don, hi Sonette, hi Audrey. Uh, Don, I saw your message, but I don't know how to be friends on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. But if you send me a request on Facebook, I will be your friend. Hi Mona, hi Mary. I hope everyone is fine. I'm sorry I couldn't stream last week. We had a unexpected holiday and we had a nice weather. Uh, we have our king was having his birthday, so we had some uh, a nice um, vacation days. It was a day off, so yeah, we suddenly decided to uh, my email. You can email me. The email is in the description, Don. The email is in the description. Um, did I miss? Hi, Pickle! Thank you for helping me yesterday. Oh my gosh, hi, Tonya. That was something. For you who didn't notice, yesterday I was recording a flip through and I was live and I don't know what happened because my OBS had the red button it said recording and still it went live so meh, magic <laughs> oh my gosh hi Lia goeie avond hi Louise oh you were there Mona yeah it was really strange so I didn't know what happened it was it's and I looked twice and because I thought I pushed the wrong button, but I didn't. It said recording and I had a red circle there and the circle means recording and it was streaming. So yeah, magic, <laughs> you were there. Okay, so I didn't know, but uh, Pickle was so nice to send me a message. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I did it all again. Oh. I don't know, I can do strange things to computers. It happened this morning when I was teaching uh, my dance class and everything went black and Jan was um, really working hard to get everything in order again. So, and I didn't do anything. I didn't push a button, nothing. So I make things all go crazy. <laughs> I hope it will be good today and <laughs> nothing will happen. I have to tell you, um, we were supposed to try streaming from the caravan. John would help me. But, uh, Goedenavond, Marijke. Um, we had some problems with the roof of the shed. It was leaking. So they worked for three days uh, uh, for the repair. So we didn't have time to test. We will test. But for now, probably, I will only stream on... Tuesday because on Thursday I'm not here but uh, we are working on it we are working on it so I will let you know and I keep you informed so ha, there was a lot to tell you before we call her I want to show you some things that uh, I did in the weekend I hope I'm not missing people hi Melissa sorry I think I missed you I ordered the dragon um, the new one from Camilla de Rico but my Amazon and I can order from two Germany and the Netherlands and it will not deliver before the 17th of May so hi Shannon it's not here and because I was so sad that I didn't get it I call it in in the mermaid one if I can find it yeah hi B <laughs> I did this one 
and um, I colored it with pencil, the mermaid, and I went over it with uh, uh, Audrey was streaming, I'm sorry, I, I was really busy. Uh, I went over it with my um, Paul Rubens. I don't think you can see it, but there is a nice metallic shine on the tail and on the fins and on the hair. Is it picking? I think it's picking up the hair, but not the tail. Oh, now you can see it a little, I think. But uh, I did um, aquarelle, but on this paper, I don't know if you can see that. I get all those little specks. I don't know why. I have it in some other books. It's really bad on this page too. And not on this one. So, I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't want to pay that much. <laughs> That's why I didn't order on the other Amazon. I will wait for mine and pay a normal price. I could order it in the UK, but then I have to, uh, too much water. I didn't use much water. Just a tiny bit. A tiny bit of water. But uh, if I use less water, I cannot move the paint. So, yeah. But thank you. <laughs> I was thinking that, but I couldn't move the water, the paint. I needed a little bit of water. Yeah, I will try to watch back, Audrey, if I have more time. I did a page in this book. I haven't colored in this a long time because I'm not so fond of the paper and of the ink. Where is my page? Um... I did this one, the one on the left. I already did the one on the right, so I thought a little bit of the same colors, but a bit different. The hair is pink, but a darker pink, and the blue is a little bit darker. So now they are nice together. No, I'm not paying that to Jody. I'll wait. <laughs> Oh, wait. Yeah, but the strange thing is that on some pages it, I get the specs and on some pages I don't. So, I don't know. He's getting his glasses. Yeah! I hope he can see very good. So, I did a little bit of um, silver on the jewellery. And uh, now I have a pair. And in Botanicum, I finished the two um, bunnies. We started this one on the live stream, and I finished them. They have the same color, but I think they are nice. They are two brothers. Uh, happy together sitting there. <laughs> Mind you, be you done, yes? Um, and you saw maybe that I finished my flowers. Where are they? They are here. Finished the flowers with a watercolor background. Really happy with this one. Um, I started a new one. It's not finished yet. I started this. Um, with a magnolia um, cyclama, I didn't know this one, but I thought pink, purple, bluish would be nice. So a little bit more work and then a background and then it will be finished. And now Melissa is here. Melissa, you wanted to see my um, Medusa, so I looked it up for you. I have done the one in this book. You ask for it. It's an old one. There are, I think, two lives and a video on my channel of me coloring this. But you ask for it. So, here it is. This is the one that Shannon was talking about. The Medusa.
You speak proper Scottish. I like it. I would love it to hear it. I will. I will look back. So, and the eyes I did. I don't think you can see that. I did it with the. Um, Oh my gosh, the white one, the um, wink of Stella. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a little bit of silver on the snakes, of no glitter on the snakes, but I don't think the camera picks that up. It's just a little, here and there, there is a little silver on the snakes, but uh, like on this one, so that they have scales. So, Melissa, this is it. <laughs> yeah, I love my Medusa. And it's the only picture I did in this book, but I love it. She was here, but uh, I think she's gone now. Well, I did show it, and I did um, the blue with acrylic paint, dark blue acrylic paint in the background. Yeah, my snake lady. I love my snake lady. I love her. <laughs> oh, there Melissa, Melissa. So this is the one Shannon was talking about. Well, I think she was talking about this one. <laughs> you watch me, your bathroom. <laughs> you don't have to be. They, they don't like the shiny stuff, I know. Yes, yeah, she comes and goes so quickly. <laughs> Yeah, Medusa. I have taken off the cover because uh, I always crackle them, so that's why I did it. I was thinking of this one. It's the start of the summer season, and I thought it was nice. <laughs> oh, that's okay. There are videos. You can copy away, Shannon, but I think you can do a fabulous job by your own. You are an amazing colorist, so I think you will be doing a stunning job. I was thinking of using... Uh, I have to make a little room. Sorry. Using my uh, polys. I don't know. I want to try it. Um, I tried a little bit in the beginning. I did, did this guy. <laughs> I love him, so I was trying to color him and I did this with polys and I think they work well, so I will try that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I love it. I wanted to buy it earlier, but it was sold out and I didn't want to buy it on Etsy because the shipping was, well, ridiculous. I'm bringing you down a little more. Uh, in my flip through, I thought this was a ducky, but um, looking through the book again, oh, that's a maple. Oh, okay, thank you, because it is in the summer sassy section, so I didn't think of a May thing because for me May is not summer, but nah, could be me. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Audrey. Uh, I was thinking that this was a ducky, but when I looked at the cover, here is a swallow. So I think that's it. And not a ducky, so. <laughs> no, there is a shop in the Netherlands, uh, Kenny, that um, has some of the Japanese books and for me it was cheaper to buy it from her than from... I was thinking about Japan but then I saw that she had it and she orders um, uh, more copies so that's cheaper. For me it was cheaper to buy from the lady uh, in the Netherlands than Japan. Yeah. I was thinking of a duckling by the beak, but a young bird also has a white beak. If you look them up, they have a very white beak if they are young, and I think this is a young one. So I go for the baby swallow, <laughs> not for the duckling. <laughs> you know me, I, I, I'm uh, st stubborn. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
I am. Sorry. I want to start reading leave. Nice and easy. <laughs> Uh oh, wait a minute. I was thinking of buying it from Japan in the beginning, but then I saw the shop in the Netherlands and thought, well. And because everything is getting so expensive over here because of uh, things happening in the world. Our energy bill is um, twice as high, our petrol is more than double, um, and we have the same amount of money, so it's not complaining, but um, I have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, she has not all the books but she has some of the Japan Japanese books she also now sells the Ken, the Ken Matsuda book I think she saw it on my channel <laughs> and she went to order it so <laughs> that's nice and because she buys more copies it's cheaper she also sell the Anastasia books and um, that's taking a little bit longer but much cheaper so yeah Less money, paying less money is always nice. I forgot to tell you, this is um, May Green. Oh, you had your glasses already. How was it, Louise? Did you have fun? Was it dangerous as you thought? Louise was making a beautiful um, project. Same here, Sonette, same here. I feel for you, honey. It's the same here. So I have to be a little bit careful and I will buy not so much stuff as I used to because everything goes up, even bread. So, and you can spend your money only one time, so you have to think about it. Yeah, more coming out yeah I think we all have the same problem it's not just me not just here it is everywhere I think in the UK and and, and and in South Africa and in Germany and I think France it's 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 the same everywhere lots of techniques oh wow I can't wait to see your finished thing One is the dragon and the other is the geisha. Yeah, I know I did know about the geisha, I didn't know about the dragon. Nice same there, Mona. Yeah, I think it's everywhere. Thank you for the link, Kenny. Thank you so much. And I know there were people who already did a flip through, but um, it was not on my channel so. And I love it so much, so I wanted it there, so I did my flip through. <laughs> I saw it, um, the first time I saw the book was with Coloring Kit, I think. She did a flip through and I immediately loved it. But uh, then I was thinking I'm not spending that much money and then it showed up in the shop. Oh. Yeah. And then I couldn't help myself. <laughs> it's so cute. For me, it's like I said in my video, it's a, a mix between all the other ones. Um, Kanoka Igusa, the, the Rhapsody in the Forest, and the story of the precious cats, and um, the day we finally meet. That kind of style. This is something in the same, yeah, same style. And I love cute animals. <laughs> oh, thank you, Louise. 
you know, it's just my silly story, but, uh, yeah, well. I think you have the book already. Do you like it? Did you color in it? So I'm putting in the May Green first. Big leaf, so it's a bit... The same. I like to layer, you know that. And I was thinking maybe I could do some pastel, maybe pastel pencils to make a background here and there, not too much, just a little. Hi Cassie, welcome, nice to see you. Oh nice Louise, I look forward to the pictures. I want a little bit darker. So I go for chromium green opaque. Yeah, it's a very cute mouse. And I want a little bit of dark here. Building it up slowly. Oh, and what we did, we had all four cats. Um, for six days and now we split them up and I don't know if it's a good idea we wanted to try so now in my home I have Dusty and Ginger and John has Blue and Max so um, and they they look a bit sad. They are not playing with each other like they did before. So I don't know if it's a good idea. We wanted to try it. Because Blue was not behaving very nice towards Ginger. So we wanted to see what happens. So now I have the two hairy ones. <laughs> and John has the other two. But uh, they will meet, I think, Thursday, maybe Friday. And then we'll be all together again. And if it's not going well, we change them back. So, this is being a little darker here. Nice on it. Exciting. You have all your stuff. Enjoy it. I think the polys are in not totally. Um, how do you say it? It's uh, you see a bit of the stripes from the pencil but because it's a sketch coloring book i think it's not that it's not bad to have that and if you put on more layers it will be better
Oh, really? Jody, it sounds so cute. <laughs> How is he taking it that he needs glasses? Is he taking it well? I know some children have problems when they need glasses. But he's a, a big boy. I think he can handle it. Look here, you can see on the cover, you can see that it's sketchy, so I think it's okay if it's a little bit sketchy. So that you can see that's hand colored and not a print. Maybe not everybody agrees with me, but uh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, he loves them. Oh, that's good. Um, when I color here, I use my ring light. But when I'm coloring downstairs, I have an other uh, daylight lamp. But when I color in my room, I uh, use my ring light. Because I like that it's giving me a nice light directly on my uh, on my table and it's just exactly above above it And I have a LED light higher near the ceiling as well, but I like the ring light a little better because it's lower. But it is on a big stand and downstairs I have one that's standing just on my desk, but it works really nice. And I also have one that has a, a big stand that's standing on the floor. That's okay, Cassie. You look away, honey. Thank you for coming and saying hi. It's a little bit dark there. It's a big leaf, so it'll take, we'll take a while to core. And I want to color it nice because I love this book so much, so I don't want to hurry. I want to do it nice. And I like that the ring light, you can adjust um, how much light you want. So if I'm coloring during the daytime, I just put on a little bit of light and when it's dark in the evening I can um, turn it up so that it's giving more light. I like that. So it's adjustable. Is that the word? <laughs> adjustable. I hope it is. Sometimes me and the words. Not friends. Uh, you are so right, Jody. <laughs> you are so right. I only had a little boy. I didn't have a girl, so... I don't know about the girl stuff, but uh, I do know about the boy. This leaf is twisting. Everywhere.
little bit darker up top here. The shadow here. Uh, you have grand granddaughters, haven't you, Louise? So you know about girls. You know about girls. I only love. I only know a bit of the about cats. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, Shannon. <laughs> He's sending you pictures. That's so nice. You got the book. Nice, Melissa. <laughs> you will love it. So this one is... Um, Earth green yellowish, so it's an in between color between the lighter and the darker one. I don't know if I will do only. Police, maybe I will look for an other pencil as well. Not sure. For now, I'm happy with the police on the paper. The paper feels nice, like all the like all the Japanese books and I love it that it that it lays flat on the table they do a great binding I wish uh, that the other book publishers learn from that because that's amazing that's so nice Don't you agree with me that it's nice that you can lay your book flat on the table? In the middle, I mean. That's amazing. Yeah, well, the ring light you can adjust. And that that's maybe... Maybe it's um, too much... Uh, lumen for you or too white it could be too white too too bright white not everybody likes the bright white light I, I do but not everyone and like Kenny said maybe computer glasses the one that filter out the blue or blocks the blue I don't I don't have the blue blocking glasses but uh, yeah my husband has them and he is sitting behind the computer for a long time the blue filter will help
Yeah, try an adjustable light. That you can turn down. Or buy uh, just a bulb. And don't go for the maximum lumen. Not too wide. There's a lot of difference. You know, like the sunglasses that goes over your over your subscription, I have them. This is my lightest color again, going over, blending it all. Maybe it needs a little more dark, dark color. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. But um, I'm happy with my ring light here for the filming and the coloring. For the filming, sometimes you see it in the uh, glossy covers, but uh, well, that's a thing you have to live with. Is too blue. Let me check. No, I don't think so. This one is pine green. I'm not sure. No, I'm not going for the pine green. I'm going for the chrome oxide green. I want this a little darker. I'm not sure about the color, but. Maybe it's too blue. Maybe it's okay. The paper is very nice, Kenny. Like all the Japanese books. I like the paper. I have just tried one thing, but I think it's okay. Yeah, they are blue, blue filter glasses. They are also for if you work a lot on the computer, then there's a blue filter. Make it better for your eyes. I'm sorry you see me fiddling with this leaf all the time. He will do something else, I promise, I promise. It's not just 
finished, but uh, I love the paper. No, Louise is there. I think she's doing something at the same time. Maybe working on her mixed media project. project. Yeah, it's so cool. cute. Did you call her a page, page already, Louise? Did I miss it? I'm so sorry if I did. Blending again with my light color. Little, little, little more pressure. I think I leave it for now and do something else. I think for now I'm happy. It needs a little bit more work, but uh. It needs a background, okay. It needs a little bit more work, but uh, I'll leave it for now. So, let's see. Going to the, to the birdie. <laughs> to, going to the birdie. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do if it's a, a baby swallow. So. This is a uh, Prussian blue. I think they have a blue hat. Bluish, bluish grayish. I looked them up on the, on my best friend Google. <laughs> and it will not be an exact copy, but uh, that's okay. It's my book. I want to have fun. Yeah, of course you can ask a question. If I know the answer, I will tell you. Yeah, the bug. <laughs> and the shadow here. You know, dark on the wings. I'm not sure about this. I think it's like a beige color. Sky dark blue light. You mean to call it a sky? Done. Or the one that I used just now. The one that I used just now was Prussian blue. And for the sky, well, you can color the sky a light blue you want. The sky is never the same. Um, if you look at the sky every day, sometimes there's pink in it, sometimes there's dark, there's gray, there's a very light blue. You can just color it the way you want. You can mix it. This one is dark indigo. You know, I love my indigo. You would color it like a pink wing. A tiny pink wing, I like it. I hope that helps. If not, just ask again. But uh, I look at the sky a lot because I love skies and clouds and stuff to watch. And sometimes there's even orange in sky. 
So, skies can be a lot of color. We always color them light blue, but on a very nice summer day over here, they are really blue, but most of the time they are not. There's clouds and gray and they are different in the evening or in the morning. If there's rain coming, water blue, yeah. Over here we have a lot of rain, not, not, not this spring, but normally we have lots of rain. It's very dry this spring. Surprisingly, most of the time we have a lot of rain. I love this color. Of course I went over the line here. Oh really Audrey that will be that's amazing. I wish I could see that one time in my life. I've seen it on on the television but to see it in real life I think it would be so amazing. The dancing light. Ah. Wonderful. Yeah, I do that too. Pinks and purples and greys. This one is um, sanguine. I'm not sure the baby ones have this as well, but uh, I'm just doing it. It's my baby one. Yeah, Scotland's so nice. Hi Della, welcome. Yeah, B, isn't she lucky? Oh my gosh. In Norway, yeah. Oh, you were in Norway. I thought you were Dutch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, because Marijke is a name over here too. Going around the eyes. This is um, warm grey one. So the lightest one. We can always go darker. I start light. And go dark from there. Oh, nice, be nice. You are in Belgium. Oh, and your boyfriend is Norwegian. Oh, wow. Nice international. <laughs> Norway is a beautiful country. It's okay, Louise. I hope your eyes are doing okay. I'm 
when I see um, Norway documentaries or something on the television, oh my gosh, so beautiful. In Scotland too, oh my. Well, every country has its very nice things. <coughs> you go up and down. <laughs> Living both countries, that's nice. I'm blending the blue with the grey. So it's not so blue, just a little bit blue. Cleaning my point and doing the same with a brick color. The sun queen. Now we need a little bit more dark. Yeah, Scotland, I, I think it's beautiful. It's cold, but beautiful. <laughs> Warm grey tree. So. Little more shadow here and there. There must be some shadow from the beetle. Is he pushing him? I don't know. Or just also getting out of the rain. I'm coloring this as uh, Shannon say, flat fur. <laughs> I'm not doing all the stripes. Just a little here and there. Yeah. Tonya would be would know about Norway. <laughs> Nice penguin lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mini Hawk. That's so kind of you. So you're all right, pink pickle. Looks like a penguin. Looks very sad. Looks very sad because of the rain. This is black for my shadows and my lines.
shadow from the leaf. It's getting some color. Oh, lots of places you visit, Audrey. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Don. Bye. Take care. Uh, white Posca. Give me this. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, this is the wrong one. This is the brush. I don't need the brush. I want a normal white. Where is it? Where is it? It's gone. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I cleaned my point, but it's really dirty again. It goes really quick. I want to do some nice white in those eyes. I will do something with those water drops, but uh, I want some yellow for that week. I go for this one, Naples yellow. That edge is uh, really yellow from the baby ones. Dark cadmium yellow for the corners. Maybe. A little bit here. Oh, thank you, Alia. And it's okay, you don't have to watch me all the time. <laughs> you can come and go whenever you want. This is my warm grey one again. Blending the dark one in a little bit more. Maybe it needs a little more shadow down here where the beetle is. And here under the wing. Looking for a darker orangey brown, maybe this one. I hope it's not too red. Indian red. I think I like him so far. I'm 
maybe a little bit more of the indigo blue I think I leave him for now. We have to think about this beetle. No, only a scarf and uh, and and little trousers. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, sorry you couldn't go with him, Audrey. That would have been nice. Cypress, oh my gosh. Cypress, I think that's beautiful too. This one is um, dark vitalo green. Phalo, dark phalo. Okay, I'm, I'm saying it wrong, sorry. Phalo. Halo green. Those beetles, they are so nice. They are iridescent. I have some wings somewhere. I bought them from a lady who collected them. There was a place they had a lot of them, and she didn't kill the beetles. They, um, she found the wings on the on on the on the floor, outside on the ground. And she collected them, and then she sold them, and they are amazing. With all those colors, they almost look like if they are not real. I don't know where they are, but they were amazing. Yeah, I like him too. I think he's cute. So this is um, Cobalt Turquoise. Cobalt Turquoise, I think you say. I want to mix the color. I don't know if I can get the color that I want, but I will try. And I need some purple too. Maybe this one. Mauve. like when you see the crows in the in the sunshine they have beautiful wings too they are not black they are blue and green and purple Hello Ashley, working and lurking, so nice, thank you for saying hi. Always like your cat pictures, they are so lovely. Make his little feet black. And 
and his antennas and his eye This one is um, cadmium yellow lemon with a shine. Going back in with the green. A little bit of the blue again. I think this is what I want. Yeah, don't get in trouble, please. It's not worth it. Yeah, I think I have what I want with the wings. Yeah, starlings too. Yeah, you are right. Sorry, I missed it. Oh, coffee. Enjoy your coffee, Louise. Yeah, starlings. Yeah, they are beautiful too. Beautiful colors. This is my dark blue, my indigo. Are you coloring the same page, Pickle? Oh no, not on the floor, Melissa. Oh, get another one. Coffee on the floor is not good. It's not what you want. I think the top of the beetle is a little darker than the wings. I'm not sure, I'm just thinking that it is. I don't know about the eyes. I have no idea what color or eye they have. No idea, but I love him so far. I think he's cute. What I want to do is see if I can find it. What I want. Yeah, something like that, Kenny. That's what I was after. This one is not working. Let's see if I have another one.
just here. No, this is a kiss. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> I love them too. I was thinking of using my um, clear glaze pen and let's see if it will work. And put it on top of the wings and let it shine a little more. But I don't know, let's try. I could use my uh, my ranger stuff, but that's so thick, and you have to color more pages. So let's see if this will work. It is coming out, so not anymore. I have to get rid of the pencil on top. Here it comes again. I do. You mean the one that are just like a Posca, Louise? Mm, I have some. Never trail. I don't know. I have some colors. Do you mean these, Louise? I like them, but the point is a little bit thicker than from the... I have a white one too. Yeah. A little bit of a... The point is a little bit thicker than a Posca. But they are nice and they have nice colors. Oh my gosh. I especially like this one. That pale lilac. And the green is very nice too. So, yeah. Yeah, I like them, but the point is a bit bigger. Oh, that's early. What do you think about my wings? Can you see the shine on the wings? Is it, is it like a beetle? I hope so. I hope so. It has to dry. So, let's go to... Um, what's his name again? Yururi? Yururi. <laughs> Yururi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can they name him? Can they name him Tom or something? <laughs> something I can pronounce. Yeah, they are uh, refillable. It's true. I have not tried it, but they said that to me too. So I think he is a bit. Uh, this is my sanguine again. It's a bit like a orangey, brown, yellowish. <laughs> Cooler. 
I think because of the story, you have to color him the same colors. Well, a little bit the same color. Rory. Oh, nice. I love the name, Rory. I'll try to give him the same colors a little bit in a whole book. And not one day he is brown and one day he is orange and the other day he is green. Well, you don't have green mouths, but just saying. This is what I want to do. Love to shine, thank you. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but a bit, a bit of the same color. <laughs> yeah, it is difficult. I they um I did only a little bit in Ivy and I all I had problems to do it all the same. After two after two pictures. Uh, but um well you see if he is a reddish orange brown here, then he has to be a reddish orange brown on the other pages in different light he looks different I think so this is a little bit too orangey I think so a little bit more brown oh I will look at it I saw that you sent me a message Kenny I will look I was thinking of the beetle wings that I have in my collection somewhere. I don't know where they are. Otherwise, I will. I wanted to show them to you, but I have no idea where I have put them. So, if I can find them, I will show them to you next time. I know they are somewhere. Oh, this is um, Bister. Love my Bister. Beautiful color. I think Rory is a bit too dark. To orange, I mean. How do you like the paper pickle in the book? Do you like it? Bye, Marika. Thank you for coming. Have a nice day. Have a nice walk with the doggy. Enjoy. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is taking most of the orange away. I think I picked a, a too orangey color for my liking. Well, everybody's mouth will be a little bit different. That that would be nice to see how they'll turn out. Because I think a lot of people bought this book, and they will be all will be very cute. I'm sure. Yuri, oh, that's also nice. easier to say I have to be careful that I don't uh, use the same color for every animal <laughs> in this book and then they all will be the same a little bit of the yellow in there this is uh, Dark Naples ochre. Not too much unless I'm going otherwise I'm going back to my orange again. Because the gardener or the farmer, whatever he was, he is already brown, so... Yuri must be a little different. Oh, thank you. Oh no, don't throw Tonya under the bus. That's not nice. I feel sorry for her. This is my warm grey, number two. Making the colour a little more dull. Not so bright and in your face.
I'm going to light a color in the middle part of his face. This is number one warm gray. Give him some cheeks. I like cheeks on all my animals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And on my girls and everyone. Mm, what shall we take? Mm, this one. Um, dark flesh. Maybe that's the old name. Probably. Maybe the top of his nose. Going for the cinnamon. Also, his little hands. And the underside of his feet and his little toes. We have to do his tail. Most of them have a pink tail, but I make this one with a brown tail. I think that's a little bit nicer. I like that a little bit more. Top of his head's a little darker. A little bit of pink in his ear. This is uh, for me. It's light flesh, but uh, I don't know the new name. It's the one three, one three two. Mine is still an old one because I buy the flesh colors uh, with three or four. So I had a couple. little bit of pink in the face, I think that's nice. Um, and his tummy, I think uh, his tummy is light, so I go for the warm grey. This is a little darker because it's under the other one. Like that. A little bit of shadow here. Where's my tumble gum here? Oh gosh, and now he needs brown trousers. <laughs> uh, okay, what shall we do? <laughs> the halo is nice. It's a lot of brown. Oh. 
we make this a different color brown maybe Yuri needs to be more orange then we can give him different color trousers in the book because I need to change them now and then when they are in the washing machine he needs another pair of trousers so I think we can change the trousers and the scarf they don't have to be the same on every page Thank you. It's just a fun page. Nothing too spectacular, but I just like it. You know, shadow here and there. green for the scarf I do the same colors that I did for the for the leaf or maybe a bit brighter maybe a bit brighter that would be nice a brighter green so that's not totally the same this one is permanent green bit brighter green so it is green but different one hmm I forgot a piece of Yuri here poor thing missing a part of his head <laughs> fixed yeah I will change them I will change the, the scar and the trousers on different pages I have to remember the colors that I used for him Yeah, the hell book is adorable. You are so right, Louise. I was trying to resist it, but uh, I couldn't. It's too cute. I couldn't. I did it for a long time, but uh, yeah, then I went for it. <laughs> it was too cute. I told Jan I need a little book a coloring book with a mouse and it's so cute I really really need it is it okay if I order it and he said well you don't have any coloring book so go for it <laughs> so wasn't that nice of him <laughs> wasn't that really nice of him
especially after that I bought so many uh, refills for my Copics. But I'm I'm okay for for years now. I have four boxes with refills so because they were so cheap. But I'm sad the company is no longer there because it was a really nice company. I forgot to put a piece of paper underneath, but it's okay. I'm not pressing hard, so it will be fine. <laughs> and the lady that sells the book in the Netherlands, she also um, sells pencils. So I ordered um, one black Prisma. Uh, one's already in a, in my bag to take with me, but I ordered four light peach. I ordered one soft white Holbein, and I ordered four colors of the Lumis. So. I sneak them in the order. <laughs> oh, and a pink white, of course, a pink white from the Lumisa. That's good for uh, quite uh, quite some times. <laughs> and a little more color in his face here. Lately, I color all animals like they are ginger. <laughs> They look all like my ginger. And he is being a better boy, my ginger. He is behaving really good. So I hope it will stay that way. Now Max needs to be a little better. He is a naughty boy too. When we switch them, we thought maybe the big ones, Blue and Dusty, have a good influence on them because they are really nice and behave really good. So maybe, maybe it will work. Not sure yet. Hanging in a little more shadow here. Okay, I I don't know what color I do they have. I go for an orangey one. Same with the bird. I don't know if I can do a tiny white. Yeah, I can do that. It's 
same in the book. I give the book a green eye. Just because I can. That's my time. Oh, I still have some... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, almost, Audrey. Um... Blue and Dusty were one year old in March. Ginger is one year old today, so it's his birthday. And Max was one year nine days ago. So, almost the same age. I like to shine on the wings from the beetle. Can you see them? Can you see it? Nice and shiny. No, I don't think he likes the rain. <laughs> yeah, it's his birthday today. He is one year old. And he's grown a lot. He is five kilos today. So, from the tiny, tiny little kitten that he was, here's the pencil in his um, in his back. I'm using the earth green for the back because I don't want to do that brown. There is a lot of brown already on the page. So. There's also a lot of green, but uh, this is a grey green, so I think I'm I'm okay with that. Um, the glaze, the jelly roll glaze for the shine. You can use the Ranger stuff, the uh, glossy accents, but I. I find that a bit thick if you want to color on the pages on top. So I used um, this one. It's a glaze uh, from glaze pen, pen from Shakura. Is that her name? I think so. The same of the jelly roll, but then the glaze. I'm still looking for that black that um, Pickle uses. Not find it yet. Not uh, well. I have find it in the shop, but they don't have anything else that I need, and I don't want to pay that much uh, shipping for one pen. So I'm still still looking. I will find it. it will be okay. Nice, Audrey. A ginger kitten. <laughs> How exciting. Ginger is my first ginger kitten, so I know what I am, what I have now. I don't know if I want one again, but he's very sweet. He likes to cuddle, um, yeah. and he's behaving better at the moment, so I have my hopes up. <laughs> 
And it is also fun that he is a naughty boy, but uh, he is a handful, I can tell you that. Hi Katrina, welcome, nice to see you. The closure looks like acorn. I don't know if it's true, but uh, it looks like one. No, not my tiny. No, it's too big. My Copic Multiliner number one. I want to do that for the stitching. So you see it's a bit better. Like so. Maybe the outline. okay if you see this the pencil I will give him a red pencil. I think that will be nice, a red pencil. Have a great day, Melissa. Thank you for coming. It's a bit dark, a dark red. I don't want it to take over the whole page. So it's a dark red one. did pick up oh my gosh <laughs> a part-time ginger is enough for you yeah a part-time ginger yeah only a bit of ginger but uh <laughs> oh my gosh My first one I bought by mistake too. I thought it was a a white one <laughs> and it wasn't. And it wasn't. So there are some rocks. We can do a little bit of rock. Mm, I think I use a normal gray to start with for the rock. This is um, gold grey, oh this is a warm grey, I don't want a warm grey, I want a gold one, gold one number four. Oh what I wanted to try still have a few minutes wait wait before the background 
But I was thinking, and I don't know if it will work, was to use the Carbotella pastel pencils. Shall we try? Shall we try? This is number 575. It will make a little bit of noise. I'm sorry. Warning you. Because it's pastel pencils, they make a noise. Patchwork kitty, but she's so nice. She is so nice. So I'm reading it out from a little darker to a little lighter green. Because then it's not so much work to do a background if you use this. It's really quick. Quick and easy, quick and easy. That's what I like. Quick and easy. I'm sorry for the scratching noise. And then oh, sorry. Hi Mia, welcome! How are you? You can use your color pencil and bring in the grass. Nice and easy, but you don't have to put the under layer there because that was quick and easy with your pastel pencil. What do you think of that? And you can do a darker green. Here in there. So the other way. Lighter green. Oops. You don't have to do them everywhere, just here and there. So I think that works really nice and you can do an overlay here if you need to. Make it a little darker, go over your cold pencil, that's no problem. Check it out. I like to use my fingers. <laughs> and you can bring it out really light so there's not a uh, harsh line. And you can layer it. Oh, I am shocked with you too. Do you use it? 
do you use it? We can do the same with the um, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. With the rocks. I think quick, nice and easy, and you have a nice um, basic layer for your pencils. Maybe a little more. Gray pencil. Then some shadows. I could have done that with a leaf. That would have been much quicker. And maybe I can do it on top. But uh, nice and easy to do. Shall we do one? Are you in a hurry? <coughs> I'm so sorry. See, nice and easy. So put a basic layer and you color on top with your pencil. And if you go out of the line like I always do, it's just easy to erase. No problem at all. So I can do that really quick. If you use a smaller paper stamp, it's easier. You won't go over the line that quick. How hurry for you today, Louise. <laughs> and then you only have to put your pencil on top of it and you have your base layer there so that's nice and easy the paper is doing this okay really nice
you can bring in your shadows with your pulleys or whatever you're using you don't have to layer so much because there's already a base so maybe that gives you an idea um, I don't seal it I leave it like this because um, this is really um, I worked it out really really um, smooth so if I go over it hardly anything coming off and on the rest of it I use my uh, pencil on top of it and the pencil will seal it so that's okay and if you really work it with your uh, paper stump of your fingers then there's the layer is so thin that it thin that it's not coming off I can go over this and uh, nothing comes off so that's okay and if you still worry that it's coming off Use a piece of kitchen paper. Go over it. You can see it's just a little bit coming off. And then it's okay. Then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to spray it. No, I don't. I just leave it. I don't seal it. And over the leaves I go with pencil, so then it's sealed. But if you do only pastel, then you have to spray it. I don't do that. I go over it with my police like this. But you don't have to layer that much because there is already color. So it's much easier to color on. And the pencil grips nicely on the pastel. So that's nice and easy. And then you don't have to do anything with it. Only here it's just pastel but uh, it will be okay. So that's all that I have time for. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not here on Thursday, but I will be back on Tuesday. So I will work on the on the Thursdays. It's not happened yet, but uh, I keep you informed. Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed this little cute page. I will finish it in my own time and show it to you later. So thank you all for coming. Take care, have a nice day, stay safe, bye for now!